All right, y'all, you already know, man. So last night, Mike Tyson fought Jake Paul, and it was a spectacle. And uh, both these people, walk, both these fighters walked away with millions of dollars, or should I say a uh, legendary undisputed fighter, and I'll say another one was a content creator. But I just want to honestly make 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 my thought. And I just want, and I want, I want everybody's honest opinion. Does, did Mike Tyson sell, was it more greed than legacy? Because, you know, Mike Tyson is this tame fighter now, and this, this laughable, you know, G Jolly Wiz fighter. I mean, was it was it was all of that worth his legacy? You know, when you think of Mike, man, you think it. You listen, Mike was so popular that people thought there was nobody on the planet that could remotely beat him in a fight. Nobody, nobody. Even Fat Joe talked about how one time he was in a bar and the security was finna try to fight him. Fat Joe, that is, and then Mike Tyson jumped in it. And Mike Tyson, he five ten. And he got seven foot bodyguards running around. He chasing them. They run around screaming, talking about, please, Joe, get him to stop. You go from that to fighting an internet star. Somebody who doesn't even deserve to share the same breath with you when it comes to fighting. You know, and that's the problem with boxing, man. Boxing has became a complete joke, a disgrace. And, you know, some people, I get it, it's entertainment and all of that. But they really counted this as a loss as a 58-year-old man. This shouldn't even, number one, the fight shouldn't even have been sanctioned. But for that to actually be sanctioned, that's how you know boxing's corrupt. But, I mean, Mike, man... I get it. You got to do what you got to do to feed your family. But you tell me, like, you've been so more successful with uh, the, uh, the marijuana company and public speaking, and you still living in this multi-million dollar mansion in Las Vegas, all of that. But you willing to to put all of that on the line for for Jake Paul? And then I seen where he was supposed to be calling out Logan Paul, make another video about that. It's like, come on, man. We don't want to see you fight no more, man. Like, your legacy your legacy should not be it, sh it shouldn't come out to the same thing with ali when ali what once ali beat uh george foreman he should have stopped or once he beat foreman and then beat joe frazier that was it but he kept coming back and kept coming back and kept coming back and when you end up seeing him fight against larry holmes that was sad that, a lot of people cried even larry holmes cried because you just seen a, a shell of himself ali in the ring but it, it's that money man it's that greed and I like you, you, you got to learn how to turn down money, man, for legacy. And, and when you somebody that's famous like Mike Tyson, you're going to make 20 million dollars no matter what you do. So it's like, why go in there? I mean, he looked he looked old, lethargic, um, came in with a knee brace. I ain't never seen him with a knee brace on, came in with a knee brace. And you can tell he just, you know, the mind want to keep going, but the body can't, you know. And I seen when, when, when Jake had hit him. Then he bite his gloves and all of that, man. If, if this was old school Mike, Mike would have got Jake out of there in probably about 25 seconds. If not, Jake Paul would have pulled some excuse and been completely terrified before the fight. But, you know, and, and like I said, Jake Paul finna run around and, and brag about it. And you got people talking about, oh, man, he's being merciful. He was, man, he was giving Mike Tyson mercy. No, he couldn't get rid of him. You know, and I get it. It's a moral victory for Mike because Mike went in there and stood toe to toe with a 58, I mean, 27 year old man. But come on, Mike, man, we don't we don't want to see you go out like this, man. But that's the problem with a lot of these boxers. They don't know. And then when you throw the same thing with Floyd, you know, Floyd, he's still doing all these exhibitions and stuff fighting John Gotti and, and God knows who else. But it's like, come on, man, you y'all you, are legends out here. And you shouldn't even you these type of people shouldn't even have the type of the 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 balls to even come out and say, man, I want to fight you. They should just to be laughable. Would y'all ever see Michael Jordan play one on one against somebody for some millions? I high I highly doubt it. Unless it's a and a, no cameras around, but Mike would never he would never come out come come off from his uh, uh palatious kingdom and come down. And go up against Jake Paul for no, no matter how much money he got. Because Mike understands, man, legacy matters. Even though he came back for the Wizards, majority of the people, and even though, and and and, and he still was, was doing his thing for the Wizards, but majority of people know him hitting that got that shot game six in the 98 NBA Finals against the Utah Jazz. Legacy matters, man. When legacy comes money, you know, but you know, hey, whatever. You know, he made a lot of money. Netflix made a lot of money, so you know it is what it is but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it man again I, I do feel like in this part he chose money over legacy but let me know what y'all think